Some of y'all just got convicted. We talked about repentance last week. Make it happen. All right, let's just keep going. I'm just messing with y'all. All right, so the Passover meal was the last meal Jesus eats with his disciples. And at this meal, he breaks the bread, takes the cup of wine, saying there his body and his blood. And then again, we read it already, not going to eat this with you again until the kingdom of God comes. So the two sayings, this is my body, this is my blood, were interpolations or additions into the Passover ritual at two important points. So he's inserting this. Now imagine now the Jews have been doing this. All of them are probably 30 and above, definitely Jesus. They have been doing this Passover Seder meal for years. They know the ritual. They know the formula. Jesus says, hold up. I'm going to change this and I'm going to insert something into this that is not typically done. He's catching the attention of the disciples. So watch what he happens here. The central content of the meal, I'm sorry, he, inter he interrupts it at two important points, before the meal and after the meal. All right, before and then after. Jesus transcends the original meaning of the feast because he is the fulfillment of the Passover lamb. So he's letting his disciples know, you've been doing this. How much stuff have we been doing as Christians and not understanding the significance of it? How many times have we taken communion and not understood the significance of it? How many times do we lift our hands, bow our feet, close our eyes, put our hands together. How much stuff are we doing that we may not know the spiritual significance of what it is that we're doing? So Jesus is says, interrupting this, he says, before you go on monotonously or uh, ritualistically taking part in this ceremony, let me show you how all of this is pointing to me. I promise you it's going to get even better. So watch this. He is the fulfillment of the Passover lamb, but he's also the victim. He is the Passover lamb that, what did he say, is going to be slaughtered. And the same way, are y'all seeing this? The same way that it was putrid to look at the, uh, the Passover lamb is the same way that they looked at Jesus. When he's hanging on the cross, they, in their mind, should have been picturing what was happening with the Passover lamb, except now it's not an animal. It's not even just a person. It is the son of God. 